Hello, hello, and welcome to the first part of the season finale of Go Battle League. So, last time we were able to get some pretty good headway in, in our last set of Master League battles. But this time around, all three leagues are currently available to battle, and today is actually the very last day of season one of go battle league so the plan for today is to start off is to of course try and do one of each of the three leagues uh, before the end of the season starting off of course with great league actually since this is the season finale i was originally going to just do basic rewards but uh, this is season finale stuff so might as well jump in uh, with some premium rewards see what kind of stuff we can get Alright, so let's go ahead and jump in with Great League. And for this match, I've decided to go in with Alolan Ninetales as my start, followed by Stunfisk and Venusaur. All right, first up is against Zangetsu Tenchu. Rocking that Genesect apparel. Solid, solid. I got Ninetales, they got Roselia. So unfortunately, that means that I am currently at a slight disadvantage here, all things considered. But I should be able to at least get Psyshock out before the end of this match. I did at least get rid of the shield, but I did lose my Nolan and Ninetales, which is kind of a bummer. But I'll go ahead and respond to them in kind with my Venusaur. Right, and they respond in kind with Bastiodon. Should be able to do a fairly good amount of damage with the Frenzy Plant against them, or I can get rid of their shield, that's cool too. But of course, Bastiodon has an unfortunate quadruple weakness to ground types, which makes Stunfisk the perfect uh, candidate for this battle. I might as well use the shield while I'm here. Don't really want to deal with whatever it is it's throwing at me. It's Flamethrower. I prob possibly could have tanked it, but... Uh, nah. Uh, uh, why chance it when I still have two shields, yeah? <laughs> but in any event, got rid of their Bastiodon. We've got ourselves Roselia coming in. And I'll go ahead and block this attack, because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that would have that would have absolutely decimated me. So right now I'm getting torn apart, but fortunately Mud Bomb is fairly spammy, and it should be able to take out uh, what little health Roselia has left. There we go, and our final round against Azumarill. Should be able to take out a fairly good amount of damage towards this Azumarill before I inevitably pass. Although I am unfortunately giving Azumarill a chance to charge up a lot of ice beams towards against my Venusaur, so there's that. <laughs> but hopefully I should be able to get off um, at least one Frenzy Plant before I inevitably pass. But well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, and they use Play Rough. Or they're in the midst of using Play Rough. Fortunately, that's not very effective against my Venusaur. So I'll be able to hopefully close this out with my Frenzy Plant. GG's. GG's on Getsu. But fortunately, I'm able to come out with the win on this one. I think it was on get to you. Huh. I guess it doesn't automatically transfer into the next. But in any event, let's go ahead and go into round two, this time against Dainris. Dainris? So something like that. Alright, first round is against Lucario. So right now, it is a famed battle of neutral damage. Mm. 
I guess is this is going to be power up punch, which is going to hurt a bit. But definitely not as much as their counter was. But fortunately, I was able to do more damage in this scenario. Right, next up, we have Ludicolo. Right, let's see if I can get off. Yeah, we are. Now I'm either going to be able to get rid of the shield or I can get some good damage in. All right, I got rid of the shield. Go ahead and respond in kind with Venusaur. The only thing I really got to look out for against Ludicolo is their, is the potential that they might have Ice Beam. That's rather concerning. But otherwise, I should be relatively okay going against Ludicolo. I'll go ahead and block this attack for now, just in case it is. It is Energy Ball, so I didn't need to block that one. But there's a good chance that they are shield baiting me. So. But I think they're out of shields now, so I should be okay with this attack. And finally, we have Deoxys in its defense form. It's definitely going to do some pretty major damage to me, but I should be able to respond in kind with some Frenzy Plant Barrages. I'm going to go ahead and block this attack, because I'm pretty sure if it's Psycho Boost, it's still going to hurt. It is Rock Slide, which well, that, that still would have hurt quite a bit, not going to lie. But I should be able to finish off this with this last Frenzy Plant. And there we go. GG's, Dynris. GG's. Pretty solid team all in all, but just fortunately I had I had good counters to that one. So Alright, moving on to the next battle. Battle number three against Chris Payne 502. Much respect for the Gengar Beanie. And the Gengar Bag. Alrighty. And our first match is with a Celebi. Hmm, very interesting matchup here. But it looks like they decided to switch out for an Alakazam, which I'm not too worried about. Though much respect for the shiny pink variant of Alakazam. It's a very nice touch. Next up, we have Gardevoir. Should be relatively okay on this one. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's running fairy type attack, so I should be okay bringing in Venusaur for this one. Go ahead and chuck a Frenzy Plant at him. Also, side note, much respect for the for the other another new shiny that they've added to their repertoire. So, props to you on that one. I'll give you mad props. Really flexing them shinies and that Celebi. So, yeah, that's that's pretty legit. But I'm going to go ahead and chuck another Frenzy Plant at your Celebi. It's not very effective, but it's, I guess, something. Right. And I'm able to get off one more Frenzy Plant, which I believe this should mean the end of this match. Right. GG's. I think it was Chris. But in any event, GG's. Um, very interesting team choice, but really uh, much respect to the uh, shiny flexes going on with that team. So, you know, respect. All right, next ranch is against Rainitium. 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 Alright, first up we got Skarmory. This is not an ideal matchup for me in... Actually for any of them really. 
now that I think about it. But I think Alola Nine Tails is probably my best bet against this Garmory as of right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick with it. and chuck an ice beam at it. I'm pretty sure he's going to use a shield anyway, but I might as well have attempted it anyway. Fortunately, my bulk seems to be doing me some pretty solid favors for this match, but unfortunately I am planning to use the last bit of shield since the Lola Ninetales, once again, is probably my best bet for actually doing any form of solid damage against this Skarmory. Go ahead and chuck a Psy Shock at it. And that's the end of the Skarmory. Thank goodness. But now we've got ourselves a Vigoroth. And unfortunately, I've already used up both of my Protect Shields, so this means the end of my Alola Ninetales GGs. But I'll go ahead and respond with a Venusaur. And they respond in kind with an Altaria. This... This could be trouble. This could be a lot of trouble, actually. because unfortunately my Stunfisk has no electric type moves on its at its disposal. So I'm unfortunately relying on the possibility that Venusaur is going to survive. I'm assuming this is going to be a sky attack, but yeah, kind of figured that. So last option is my Stunfisk, and unfortunately with the only accessible moves being ground type moves, I practically do little to nothing against this Altaria. So. Unfortunately, I believe this is pretty much going to mark the end of my team. Very solid team, by the way. Very, very solid picks for this round. Oh, I guess fortunately I'm able um, to withstand their sky attack, so that's kind of nice. But unfortunately, I do little to no damage whatsoever, so... This has kind of become like a battle of attrition at this point. Just who can wear out the other team faster. Plus they still got their Vigoroth on standby, so even if I do get through this Alteria, I'm pretty sure I have like little to no health left in me anyway, so... But, doesn't mean I can't try. If I actually do manage to take out this Altaria with primarily ground time moves, I will give Stunfisk all the credit in the world. Uh, but he decided to go with the Dragon Pulse. So that pretty much ends it for my Stunfisk. And GG's. GG's, very solid team, I have to admit. I think, what was it? Rain? Rainitium, I think it was? Very solid. Very solid work. I believe this is our ma last match against Max Reckless. Right, let's see what you got. We start off with a Lucario, which if I recall correctly means that I do have a slight advantage in this particular scenario. Although the advantage doesn't quite exist as only as, you know, if I'm actually able to attack, so. So they are doing a lot of extra damage to me at this point. I am going to block this attack. It is still power up punch. It is still, might still mean the end for my Lucario. Oh, I mean my Ninetales, but I apparently was able to take out their, um, Uh, they're Lucario, so. And I seem to be experiencing a little bit of lag on my end. 
And... Well... This isn't the most ideal scenario as of right now, but... I, th I think Stunfisk will be able to hold its own fairly well against this, um... Against this Hitmonchan. Again, Venusaur would have been a much nicer pick, but... Stunfist does have the spam going for it, so it's kind of convenient. Go ahead and block this attack. Not sure what's going to throw at me. He's going to throw another power up punch. So it seems that this person's team is very heavily reliant on the use of power up punch to get much more potent fast attacks going, which I can respect. It's a it's a it's a legitimate strategy. I'll give him that much. I'll give him that. Yeah, hit me on another power punch, and I think that means the end of my stun fisk. So now I'm going to go ahead and close out the deal with my Venusaur. Yeah, let's see what kind of move you got going for you. It's another power up punch. Really trying to capitalize on that um, was it, attack boost, so. Can't argue against that. Go ahead and check out my Frenzy Plant, get rid of your Hitmonchan. And finally, we're at Kangaskhan. Very interesting choice, but hey, I respect the, um... I respect the, um, the region, um... All right, still going for that um, that power up, that power up combo. I will admit, though, for kind of like this one trick pony kind of a team, it did do a good amount of damage overall, and I'm, it ended up being a really close match. So, yeah, I credit where credit is due. That was a fairly solid match. GGS, GGS once again. And with that, that pretty much close out, closes out my set with four wins out of five. So I'll go ahead and claim this, which is a fast TM. Nice. I'll go ahead and claim this Pokemon, which is a Metagross. Go ahead and I'll Silver Pineapple this guy since... Flex. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh my gosh. The region flex. The region flex was real with that one. There you go. Oh man. I'm sorry. I can't I can't think today. This Metagross does not want to get caught today. Oh my goodness. Please. <laughs> And there we go, we got ourselves the Metagross. Oh man, that was a thing. Oh, and apparently that's my first catch of the day. Solid. Anyway, let's go ahead and claim the rest of the rewards with 1900 Stardust, five charge TMs, very nice. And let's go ahead and claim those rank rewards. And I finally made it to rank seven. It's a battle rating of 1948, which isn't the greatest, but hey, here we are. Alright, so I believe that pretty much concludes it for this round of Go Battle League. Definitely, Great League is definitely where I'm probably like the most comfortable in uh, for the most part. But before we close out Season 1, we still got Ultra League and Master League to get to. So definitely keep a lookout for those videos in the very near future. But... For now, that's it for this video. If you liked it, you can go ahead and hit that like button. Maybe even consider subscribing as well. And with all of that said, I will see you guys in the next video.